have our polynomial and we are going to solve by factoring. So we have to come up with a, an equation that will leave us with x squared minus 25 equals 0. So our factors that we have that will multiply to negative 25 and not leave us any x's are 25 and 1 and 5 and negative 5. And 5 and negative 5 work, so we have x plus 5, x minus 5, and to check that, we can go ahead and solve that. Well, x squared plus 5, x minus 5, x minus 25 equals 0, and that does work. So we checked. And now we are going to use our zero product property to solve. So we have x plus 5 equals 0 and x minus 5 equals 0. So we'll go ahead and subtract 5 from that side and from that side. So it balances out and we'll have x equals 5, negative 5, excuse me. We'll add 5 to this side and add 5 to this side. We'll have x equals 5. So our solution is negative 5 and 5.